Good morning. Tim Avon here. Exceptionally blessed to uh, have God wake me this morning. And if you're hearing this, then you should be or feel the same. As he allows me to travel and do the things that he chooses me to do. I feel blessed, honored, and as they say, highly favored. Because all of my trust and my faith is in him. So I ask you this morning, what feeds your passion? When you wake or when he wakes you, what are your thoughts? Do you have sorrows? Do you think about your pain? Do you think about your past? Do you dwell on what you don't have? Or are you just truly thankful that he woke you? That you have another opportunity to make each moment into a day of happiness, joy, and peace. What drives you? What makes you just full of energy, full of joy, full of just wanting to do in life, meaning to do for others, meaning to just to get up and want to make a difference in somebody's life. What is your passion? What is your desire? What is your hope? What is your dream? Have you thought about your dream and if your dream lines up with his will? Because if your dream lines up with his will, then his will and your dream will be his promise. might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but if they line up, then it would come true, it would come to light, it would come to glory. What is your passion? I know a lot of you see me, and you see me going all day, every day. You see me full of energy. You see me bouncing off the walls, seems like. You see me traveling a lot of miles and trying to make the difference in a lot of athletes, giving them the opportunity to at least have a way to advancing their student athletic career and life, whether it's from Pop Warner to junior high, junior high to senior high college pro or whatever the choice may be but also you know I train from soul to souls meaning that I have to tap into your soul to be able to to tap into your souls I have to make sure that you are within one mentally physically ready to challenge life because life is going to challenge you. So when you wake awoken with passion find the way to take that energy and give it to someone else. Find that energy and let someone else know how blessed they are. How truly honored they should feel no matter who they are, on God's level, we all are the same. No amount of money, no race, no nothing. We are created in His image. And in His image, we should treat everyone the same. Once He wakes you, not dwell on anything that you went through or things that the devil might show you because that is living what we call 
in the emotion, in the flesh, once you learn to live in the spirit. And it takes time. You have to open that Bible. You have to be able to tap into that side of the world that means more than this world. That's when you find your passion. That's when you find your energy. That's when you find your joy. That's when you find your hope. That's when you look at things different. And you're thankful just for the ability to see, to think, to hear, to taste, to smell, to talk. Your passion has to become the same as his promise. And through that, your process will be become will be will become great. I challenge you this morning to make sure that your passion and his promise are together. Be thankful. Don't dwell on anything. Do not let the devil control you, control your thoughts. Pray. Read, study, and apply. Be ready to be tested in this world. Because I know personally, as many people love me, as many people like me, there's just as many that doesn't. But I don't worry about either or because I serve a God that knows that I'm not perfect and I don't try to be perfect. He knows that I just try to let everyone know that he is my number one, my only one. And whoever he puts in my life or takes out of my life it's his choice. I have to deal with that. Because when he wakes me, I have to make sure that I thank him throughout the entire day. Because tomorrow or the next moment might not be. Love all of you. Have a blessed, wonderful, amazing, joyful, spiritual day love yourself love others keep praying read study and apply it's team of love all of you god bless